Hello, sports fans. Welcome to the broadcast booth. I'm Jason Aaron Goldberg, and this is Card Collecting Shenanigans. While you're here, hope you'll subscribe. It's Mail Drop Monday, and we got two drops today. The first one is an auction win, a tribute to the best unibrow in pro sports history. The second drop is from a fab subscriber, so let's start with the auction win. Now, some say Anthony Davis, the new Laker, has the greatest unibrow in sports history. Other 90s collectors uh, may think it's Stan Javier and his classic upper deck card, which is a true beauty. But in my browsing of vintage cards uh, and auctions, I came across what, in my opinion, is the best, the greatest, the king of all unibrows in pro sports history. History. Without further ado, Wally Moon, ladies and gentlemen, the greatest unibrow in pro sports history. Uh, won both of these cards. This I was trying to win this card because it's the one that first caught my eye, and I could never get it for the price I wanted. And then I came across this card that was autographed, and I won it for like eleven bucks, I think, shipped. But this is the true gem. Look at that. Let's get real. I'm going to let you get real close to get a good look at it. Look at the majesty of this supreme unibrow. Now, Wally Mooney played for 12 years for the Cardinals and the Dodgers. He was a three-time World Series champ, 59, 63, 65. Came up with the cards uh, and was invited to spring training and told the Cardinals that He'd either make the team or he would quit baseball altogether. Coming out of spring training, he had supplanted Enos Slaughter in the outfield. And so the Cardinals sent Enos to the Yankees, where he was wonderful for many years. He won the NL Rookie of the Year that year in 1954. And as his career goes on, it gets a little interesting because when he's shipped over to the Dodgers... Now, he hit 142 home runs in his 12-year career, but what's interesting is he's known for what they called moonshots, and this is because when he came to the Dodgers, they played in the LA Coliseum before Dodger Stadium was ready. Now, my dad pointed this out to me, and he found a picture in this book, but it was really tiny, and so I found a great one on the internet, and so... Here is what the dimensions of the L.A. Coliseum looked like in that year they played over there. And the reason this is interesting is because right field is 440 feet, but left field is 250 feet. But to compensate for that, they had a 42-foot screen that if you hit the screen, it's like the green monster. It's in play. And Wally Moon was a left-handed batter. And so he was really worried going over there that he was just going to be terrible. So he got a little help from Stan Musial, who helped him adjust his swing so that he could hit over to left. F- so when he hit over to left field uh, he and it was hitting oppo shots, he could get the ball up over that big old screen and they coined moon shots. But here's also what made that interesting to me. This is like 1959 when he roughly gets over there. Uh, let's take a look at the back. Which one? Did... Yeah, so 59, he comes over to the Dodgers. JFK is elected in 60. And he's the one who I always thought coined moon shot for going to the moon. But if Wally Moon is hitting moon shots in 1959, who coined the term? So if you know, let me know, because I would love to hear who coined Moonshot in reality. Uh, Wally Moon, he passed away in February 2018, so not that long ago. Uh, he coached a little bit at the, uh, after he retired for the Padres. Um, what else? What else on Wally Moon? Uh... I think that's about it. Oh, that's what, if you think someone has a better unibrow than Wally Moon, that's what I wanted to hear from. Let me know because honestly, I, like I said, it's just my opinion, but I don't know any unibrow better than this. Just incredible. I am a fan now. I dig the Wally Moon cards.
I was so excited to get both of those. All right, fab sub delivery time. This comes from Dave's Cards 861. You've heard me mention him on the channel before. He uh, is in the military service. He's living the good life in Hawaii with his wonderful family. And we had been working at a trade. He also won uh, a giveaway. And we were working at a trade, but he couldn't find the card uh, when I said, oh, that's one I want to trade for. And then he picked it up, or I think uh, for really, like, really cheap. So. He's doing me a solid here, so I know at least one card in here is that card, but it feels like there's more than one card. So let's see what we've got. All right, I'll read this to myself here just in case. All right, so uh, basically he says, uh, thanks for putting out good content. My channel's great. Thank you very much, Dave. And so let me get the cards. They are very well secured. Got the painter's tape rocking. You know you got to use painter's tape. That's the only way to ship is painter's tape. Let's see what we got here. So the card in question was this guy. Oh, yeah. It was a card I did not have, had never... Uh, been able to to pull it in some of the archives breaks that I did uh, and just never was really chasing it uh, as a single item pickup card. Um, and I think because he got it, you can tell whoever he got it from, they use scotch tape. So I'm going to have to use a different loader for this. Um, but I love this card. It's such a great pose, really wonderful photo. Um, I'm not 100% if they've reused this photo, but I'm sh it wouldn't surprise me at all. It's spring training. There's Steinbrenner Field, but this is the uh, the mini. This is Archives Aaron Judge rookie card. All rise. He's on his way back. Maybe next week he'll be back. And as a bonus, nice. Wow. Very cool. As a bonus, a little Tops tribute action. Donnie Baseball, numbered 33 out of 250. Wow, it's really got some nice shine. I like that. Like the gold here really pops it's like holographic almost because it changes colors, but you can tell that it's gold uh, in the base. Really, really beautiful. I don't get tributes. Again, it's a high end product that I don't get because I don't roll that deep most of the time. But really nice. Anytime you get a numbered card, it's awesome. So thank you so much, Dave. I really appreciate it. I will leave a link uh, to Dave's channel in the description if you want to head over and check out Dave's uh, channel. Uh, fun, fun content. He does ripping with his son uh, and shows off his PC pickups. He's a big Padre fan. Uh, so I'm always looking at Padres maybe sent his way. Uh, so there you go. Thank you for the cards, Dave. Greatly, great, And thank you for the kind words as well. Uh, so once again, leave that comment. If you think there's a better unibrow out there than Wally Moon, I challenge you to name one. Uh, and looking forward to that, slam that like button. Make sure you're subscribed to all your friends. And I'll see you next time in the broadcast booth.